And now we're ready to cover the box. This one is going to have a cigar type lid, so I'm only going to cover the two short sides and one long side. I'll take the covering material and I'm going to set this onto my uh, cutting mat to match the grid and put some weights on it so it'll stay uncurled for a moment. And then I will take the box and I'm going to take a rough measurement of what I will need for the three sides, giving a little extra. I want to have about three-eighths of an inch on the top to go around the lip and I want at least three quarters of an inch on the base to go uh, around the corner uh, on, the, on the base part of the box. So, just get one, two, three sides, make a little slip. And then here I've set my dividers to three eighths of an inch. I'm going to do an approximate three quarters of an inch at the base here, and I will mark three-eighths at the top. And I'll set this here like that. Take a little rough measure at this side. So that's about thirteen and three hundreds. That's thirteen and three-eighths there. But, and, then, and then bring this even so that I have a parallel cut. And now we have our material. We'll start covering by gluing out the short side, like this with the roller. And with the dividers we mark two little spots on the edge, top edge of the covering material. I'll set the box in place, giving myself about a little half inch here on this side to wrap around the edge. And then bring the box over with the folder, <coughs> rub this down, and press this into place. You can glue this down at this point if you want. And then we'll turn the box over. Glue out this side. With your dividers, make another mark at 3 eighths of an inch so that you'll know where to set the boxes. It will move around like this. Stand it up, put the edges down. And you can mark another 3 eighths of an inch here, little mark. And we'll glue the third side. And then for this side here, I'm just going to trim this a little bit here using the gauge. Cut that off, fold this around, and glue that down. Now the next step is to open all of your joints. So with a little triangle, we're going to put this in here, and with the Olfa knife, reach in and cut all of the corners open.
and we'll do this both on the front, I mean the bottom and the top of the box. If you push the uh, triangle there uh, against the edge of the box and then use the folder like that, like I just did, that will give you a nice sharp corner in which to stick your, your knife and cut these edges open. Now, what I like to do is just open all the seams, like this, on both sides. And we'll close the base first. So with this, what I usually do is just take the, the Ulfa knife and extend the blade. And from the corner, I can push these two edges down, whichever is, lies flatter, and then take the knife and simply cut, pull, and push like this. And this will remove the fabric for your miter. Sometimes your cut isn't exactly on the square, so like one side is going to be a little shorter. If you push it like this, it bunches up. If you push it here, it actually fits a little better. Push and pull. And there we have our miter. Like that. Always throw those little triangles on the floor because you'll find that they stick, you know, in the to your box when you least expect it in the wrong place.